Welcome to our Accessible Graphs and Charts workshop. In this training, we will discuss strategies for improving the accessibility of charts and graphs and show examples of how these improvements increase the accessibility of our resources. We'll also discuss where to find additional resources to build more accessible charts. A key point to note is that there may be more than one way to improve the accessibility of your charts and graphs. To build more understandable and accessible resources, it is important to understand what you want your data to provide, understand what your audience needs and is looking for, and then build your content with accessibility in mind. Color choice is critical when building charts and graphs. Please make sure that all of your color choices meet minimum color contrast requirements, and pay close attention to how color represents information in your charts and graphs. More information about meeting minimum color contrast requirements can be found in our color training. Ensure that your graphs do not use color alone to convey information. Color should be supplemental to your image's message, but not dependent on color to show what you're trying to tell your audience. You can add additional features like patterns and shapes, labels, and long descriptions to build out your information. Colorblind safe color palettes are available. These are helpful in selecting color combinations that you know will allow all users viewing your graphic to have a better understanding of what you are displaying. Some best practices for selecting colors include avoiding red and green color combinations, avoiding rainbow color maps, and leaning into pre-existing color palettes. There are also plenty of helpful resources available to select accessible color palettes. Colorblindly is a Chrome extension, and the Accessible Color Palette Generator and Chroma Color Palette Helper are great websites to visit. This is an example of a colorblind accessible color palette built with a Chroma Color Palette Helper. The top row shows the color palette from the perspective of someone with full color vision. The middle row shows the same color palette from the perspective of someone who is fully colorblind. The last row shows the color palette from a green colorblind perspective. Users can still determine distinction between all three perspectives, even if the color they're visualizing is different. Adding a pattern to your graphic can help your audience better understand your information. In this example, we have a bar graph showing the average temperature in three different cities from January to May. The graphic currently relies on color to distinguish the information, making it difficult to determine the relationship with the legend and difficult to know any numerical data. If we add a pattern to each city's information, we can better distinguish which bars represent which cities, making it easier to understand this bar graph. And here's the same graphic in black and white. Since we have added a pattern, we can still understand the information without color. Color is just supplementary, but not critical for the meaning of the graphic. Again, we can add shapes to our charts to better distinguish patterns and relationships. In this line chart, we see the same three cities and their average temperatures from January to May, but we are reliant on color to understand which city is which. This makes it difficult to determine the relationship between the line graph information and the legend. By adding shapes to the line graph, we can easily determine which city is which in our graphic. This new chart does not rely on color to understand the information. And again, we have this graphic in black and white. Color is just supplementary, but not critical to the meaning. Finally, we can always add labels to our charts. In this example, we have a pie chart showing a group of people's favorite ice cream flavors. This chart, again, relies on color to show users the data, is difficult to understand in relation to the legend, and is unable to give us numerical information. By adding labels, we no longer are relying on color, a legend isn't necessary, and it is much easier to understand numerical data in relation to the data tract. And again, we have the same graphic in black and white, and we can understand the context of the data without the help of color. When adding charts and graphics to your content, don't forget to add your alt text. Alt text needs to be kept short and sweet and a good rule of thumb is to keep alt text under 150 characters. This can be hard for some graphics, especially if there is a lot of information. Try to answer the questions. What are the key findings? Why is this graphic important enough to add? And what do you want your readers to understand from this graphic? Here is an example of what your alt text might look like for a pie chart showing favorite ice cream flavors. The alt text reads, pie chart depicting five different favorite ice cream flavors. Rocky Road is the most favorite at 37.8%. Strawberry is the least favorite at 6.1%. This alt text has 149 characters and answers some of the main questions that might need to be answered with this chart. 
but 150 characters might not be enough to describe your image. In this case, you can consider adding a longer image description to your content. This image description will need to be in plain text and can be as long as is needed to describe your image to your audience. In this example, we have information in our long description that would be too much to fit in our graphics alt text, but works great as an accompanying piece to your information. This description reads, this pie chart shows the favorite ice cream flavors of those surveyed. Respondents said that Rocky Road was their favorite ice cream at 37.8%, followed by cookie dough at 22.4%, mint chocolate chip at 19.4%, vanilla at 14.3%, and lastly with strawberry at 6.1%. This description lets us know all of the critical information in the pie chart. You might also consider adding an accessible data table to your chart that further breaks down your data. In this example, we have the same pie chart, but with an accompanying accessible data table that presents the same information. One thing to keep in mind when providing additional information and context to your graphics. Alt text is typically only available to those using screen readers, but long image descriptions and accessible data tables are available to everyone engaging with your content. Here are some more resources on building accessible graphics and charts. If you have any questions, please email us at improving-accessibility at berkeley.edu.